Round two of today. Here we go. Helener. 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 All right, here we go. Hello, everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from the XTC on GSP. This is our second game of the night. We got XTC action here. Team Peru versus Team Iceland. For Iceland, this is a win it to stay in it game, or for Peru, one game to clinch if they get the W here. So the pressure is on. We got Alberto Joe versus Helena Magnuson. We are looking to have a great game. I'm joined by my good friend, William Hagwood. Thank you for having me. Excited to see some of this XTC coverage. All righty. Let's go ahead and break down these lists, and I'm going to start the Choose Your Champion. Remember, if you're watching on YouTube, it is time to put it in the comments down below. Who do you think is going to take the W? Will Peru clinch it right here for the round, or will Iceland be able to keep their hopes alive? All right. We're starting with uh, Joe uh, flying a scum for Peru on your left. That's your choose. Or is it you choose? Uh, your bet one all champion. We have another uh, group of seven M3As. This one wildly different in the munitions selections. Uh, we have two at the top here with uh, ion torpedoes. Uh, two cartel spacers with auto blaster cannons two with the thread tracer missiles and then rounding out the list sunny bounder uh, with an auto blaster cannon as well so the thread tracers are able to utilize focus tokens to set up target locks for the whole squad we've seen uh the threat of the auto blasters uh three dice in the bullseye four dice range one uh, in the uh, bullseye and uh, evades cannot um, stop critical results. Um, that's big in this matchup um, against uh, his opponent. I uh, was flying a ships who like to run away mm -hmm. um, rather than a face face off in a joust. And I think the most interesting weapon here is those ion torpedoes. Uh, those are four dice attacks, long range, uh, range two and three. Uh, but if they're set up with those thread tracers, can really put the control on uh, the opponent. And I think that's what uh, is been so important in these M3A swarms, uh, that they have an element of control, not uh, pure damage auto blaster sometimes isn't enough. All right. So then uh, Helena on the other side here, uh, flying the Separatist for Iceland, uh, has the infamous Django and Zam dual fire spray list. Uh, Django has Treacherous, Jamin Beam, Count Dooku, Thermal Detonators, and Hull Upgrade. And Zam Wessel having Treacherous, Jamin Beam, Chancellor Palpatine, Thilman Detonators, and Hull Upgrade upgrade uh, missing a vital upgrade we've seen uh, on these so many times before which is the uh, the false transponder codes instead leaning uh, into getting hull upgrades on both and uh, treacherous on both as well mm. treacherous is going to be very powerful in this matchup because uh, let me just read it while you defend you may choose a ship obstructing the attack and spend its single charge. If you do, you can cancel a hit or crit result, and the ship uh, you choose gains a strain token. So, uh, with all of these uh, M3As blocked up together, uh, the ones in the front row can easily obstruct the ones in the back row, allowing uh, for this uh, treacherous to trigger. Also, as a note, uh, it recovers each time any ship is destroyed at range 0 to 3. So, as a potential, that would be, what, 6, 7 potential uses of Treacherous in this matchup? Yeah. Um, if not more. 
this is, I think, um, I know if you're watching this game, you just started here. This maybe won't make sense because we're referring to the last game. But sure. I think the um, one of the differences that might be happening in Haliner's list versus uh, what happened in the last one is he's got defensive tech. He's mm -hmm. got defensive mm -hmm. tech that works well against the Swarm. And we had a couple people ask, how does how does this separatist squad actually approach these M3As? And the answer is, you don't. To be completely <laughs> honest, right? Like you that's, do not. You don't agree. Be, you have the back arc. Use it, and there and there it is, right there. Magnuson turning the back and saying, "You know what? Let's keep it range three engagements. Let's use the defensive take what we can." And I I will not be surprised if we see um, the the fire sprays kind of go as far to the edge as they safely can, and then end up taking them to the left into the rocks and seeing if you can end up forcing the M3As to play in this kind of L shape, uh, upside down L that we have on this left side of the board. So watch out for that. And you can see already Django starting to move there. Probably going to end up getting a boost to the right here. Even though you're going into the corner, you're again, you have some of the obstacles there that could potentially split them up. I think he's going to wait. He's going to maybe one bank next round and try to utilize that rear arc. Uh, the M3As get in too close. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think that this is um, this is the gambles um, and uh, the the classic uh, feints and bluffs um, that uh, these we'll call them aces. They're really turrets, but yeah. we'll call them aces right now. Uh, the fire sprays uh, have to utilize uh, to break up this swarm. Uh, like right now, like Django. Uh, has the option to cut in or go out as well uh, and Zam uh, has the option to go left uh, or right or even I guess could 4k but uh, uh, not ideal and these are the situations along uh, a, a small, quick history lesson mm -hmm. uh, when we were terrorized by a one point uh, slave one title mm -hmm. the slave one title allowed you to go uh essentially switch your banks just it was hard as well right yeah it's like do one. you want to go left or right i'll make the decision right. when i move right and uh the reason i bring this up is that that upgrade showed uh the value of uh these fire sprays and how you need to have lanes open to go either way mm -hmm. uh the slave one never worked if you're only going to the left. You that there would be no reason for you to go to the right, um, and uh, uh, Helena here has to provide that same kind of guessing games for his fire sprays to make uh, the M3A M3As either uh, do suboptimal moves to for our wider arc coverage, or if possible, get them to split up so that uh, one of these fire sprays can go say. Uh, against just three of the M3As. Hmm. Yeah, like this. This is going to be really interesting to see how they end up approaching. Where's going to be our uh, attack vector and w what part of the map are we actually going to end up playing in? Now, one of the things I didn't catch because I was getting set up is who brought which obstacles? Because we have a we have three rocks and three debris out here. Um, did, did you catch that by any chance? Zoom. I might be able to double check. Let's let me let me go see the links that they sent I'm trying me. To, I'm trying to think. Yeah, yeah, the links would work. Octavius. This is Marcelo. Here I don't have go. quick access to them because uh, they're not in our group. Uh, it looks like the fire spray brought the debris. That makes sense. Debris, debris, debris. Uh, that, yeah. that was going to be my guess, uh, just because they're the two larger debris, and the swarm would probably prefer the smaller obstacles. Um, the other thing is that a lot of uh, people like to utilize Dooku. I'm a big fan. Hate to play against him, but a big fan of Dooku. <laughs> and <laughs> uh, for good reason. And uh, if you're going to Dooku a crit on a rock, you might as well uh, just Dooku the crit on a debris yeah you know, uh 
And so it gives the fire space a little bit more balance. They don't have to shoot those rear arcs uh, through gas clouds. So a little bit more aggressive tech here. And uh, really a bomb drop this early. That he's anticipating. He saw he saw Alberto hit the gas early with the five straights, anticipating mm. possibly five straights again this turn. And we'll see um, what ends up happening here. And there, that, you know, you you brought four of them. You have four charges. It's a good opportunity to get them. You might be able to get a couple. And the bigger effect with bombs is if you can get them to over um, over react to them it could be to your advantage and here we go alberto taking a hard turn to the left with at least two of them three of them grabbing the focus is the whole swarm going to go to the left yeah i i actually don't mind this approach because he has the hard one to cut back onto zam the round afterwards mm -hmm. uh this is a very I don't think this is highly aggressive. I think this is actually a pretty patient move um, utilizing uh, this open board space because that's where he wants to fight. He doesn't want to go fly into a corner. Um, they have limited K turns, just the three and five uh, K turns. That sounds limiting, but I mean, like, they don't have any sloops or anything, mm -hmm. right? Oh, interesting. Um, interesting. Yeah, this, this is this green this one is the turned off. Auto, auto blaster. Yeah, one of the auto blaster ones. Huh. I get stuck in that as uh I get stuck in the same thing that uh I'm I'm so used to two by three formations. Yep. That the seventh one is always flying around by itself. It's normally sunny though, but this is Sunny's uh hiding inside the formation there. Yep. And we gotta <laughs> give a shout out to these paint jobs we got here. I'm trying to even I can't even tell what is going on it, with the it is an ang things. it is an angry bird in there with ah, a yes. it is an angry bird with a uh, like an eyepiece let's see do i have a second here to switch cameras ah uh, yes he has the dragon ball z there uh, yeah <laughs> eyepiece yes indeed Django came on in i got so distracted by uh these mta's that uh Django cutting in yep the turn That's, in here i i like this uh because he's got the turn in out Mm -hmm. And then he can drop bombs if they want to mess around in the asteroids. Might be the best opportunity here. Slapping um, down a lock. Really? I think they're going. To, I think they're the trying tracers. to do it. Yeah, we got a tracer up front. We got an ion corp with them as well. You really don't want to be ionized, dude, Jenko. Very surprised yeah. on the target lock. Took the target lock on the tracer one. Here we go. Range three. It's going to be three on four. Zam might be in range, which maybe is the reason why the target lock was there to see if Zam can help out. We'll find out here in a little bit. Hit crit. Are we going to spend the force for three? No. Spend the lock. You brought it. Yeah. Oh, man. Wrong modifier. And three, not going to get him. Mm. So this is actually showing uh, why these fire sprays normally bring those false transponder codes. That could have shut down that tracer mm -hmm. and prevented two ion torps from being shot at Django this round as well. Um, I'm I'm assuming an ionized Django them. I mean, there's a pretty good chance that's going to happen. And if that ion happens, you're going to get to see a blue white uh, blue one forward Zam unable to reach a shot that's going to end up hurting because you're not stripping any mods you're not doing any damage oh. and these m3a's are about to destroy Django. you you gotta need you need some hot dice right now yeah uh he will have some treacherous potentially uh on uh, two two of the back shots here but we have the first tracer missile getting thrown down Prioritizing the target locks. Blank oh, out. Oh, blank out. <laughs> that's Django massive. Just got so lucky with that. Sometimes that's what you need. <laughs> that means so. no locks for the torps, which is huge. This was the torp round. Yep. Um, committed a lot to it. Django, get out. Run for your life, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, uh, I mean, he's only really got one choice to go. The M3A's are going to take up all the spots. Yeah, primaries. So we, uh, 
uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, pri or four primaries coming in. Or excuse me, three more primaries. Less and less all the time. One hit, one focus, spend for two. We're going to have three on defense here. We're checking that arc, and boom, there's the treacherous right there. I Fair. always forget when treacherous is. I think it's during the neutralized result step. I believe it's before a, a, an attack would actually hit. Um, and got the two. Yeah. I, I believe that's what that's what I heard somebody said. Um, that you could prevent an attack from hitting with treacherous, so it's got to be in that neutralized dice results. Hit crit coming in. Oh, there's some damage. Spend the force for one. First shield there on Django. And All right, last primary. Just unobstructed. Yep, not quite passing through. Like literally going right through the, <laughs> through through those bases. Two hits. And two more are coming in. Yeah, they're double checking that treacherous, and I would say, ooh, that is. Oh, uh, there's there's a little bit of afterglow on the pink ship. There is. I mean, we're not really. We're not part of it, so it's 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 on it's on them. Uh, <laughs> they can yeah, pause the timer have... and call a judge if they want. Uh, I think we're just loosen shields. Yeah, I would rule that as it's very close, but I would rule that as not touching that base. All right, so Django losing some shields in the initial engagement. Honestly, could have been a lot worse. Could end up being ionized and dead to rights next turn um i mean is is the move or, or, or is Django just turning to the right or are we gonna get something cheeky and try to turn to the left and see if you can get the back arc going i think turning to your left is the only option um blue and uh brown in the back there mm -hmm. uh, have the opportunity to block uh the four forward and the three bank so I don't think there's an escape route for Django uh, to leave. And with the multiple tracers, you do not want to go anywhere near uh, those ships. Uh, that's focus lock, potential four dice attack from the auto blasters. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a uh, potential uh, with Sunny on the board could get uh, five hits from that range one attack. Pretty insane. Um, so I think he's got to go left. You can see the, uh, you can see the red hand here, kind of mm -hmm. tracing out. The little, <laughs> you you got to be careful about your hands, guys. Big, big tips to anybody playing online. Be careful about your hands. Yeah, because in um, person, in person, you wouldn't put your fingers on the board and like draw out your maneuvers, right? So, right. well, yeah, I, I mean. The, the, etiquette uh for sure on that but also you're pointing right at you're telling your opponent right where you plan on flying if you just keep look keep drawing the same hard two over and over again um or, so or think, you could be you could be like uh what was a player from this weekend um during the best men championship who just flew circles around was that jason oh, that was, was that was jason Oh, that no, was Locky. That was Locky. Yeah. yeah whatever <laughs> Locky, whatever whatever control settings he's got he's just which is because I can rotate my camera, but my hand doesn't rotate with me. So I don't know what controls he was using uh, to helicopter around like he was. <laughs> I I don't know. He was doing some real good spinning action. Um, but yeah, I've I've made a point to uh, <laughs> to put my hand to the side when I'm staring down. Uh, we can uh, give give yourself or potentially your opponent too much information on that. Uh, but I, I don't think that this is a question. Uh, he's got to hard two or hard one um, to the right. Get out of there. Hopefully Django can come in. Hard one boost, maybe talent roll. 
and start working these M3As. You got to realize that in these three agility swarms, mm -hmm. that uh, every damage does count, uh, but also every missed shot uh, is devastating. Uh, we saw that in our last game. Yep. Uh, with uh, um, the M3As versus the Jedi. Jedi could not do more than one damage to an M3A in each shot, and uh, it's really punishing this two-ship list. Yeah, you need you, you need to be able to push through that damage on these, and, and especially when you have a two-ship list, like you said, you got to make sure that you're getting as much offense as possible. Now, mm -hmm. this upcoming round, depending on if the maneuver for Django lands, wherever that's going to be, um, a thermal detonator can be in play the following turn as well so that's another way to really yeah. swing it and what we were mentioning before we actually got to see these moves is the threat of bombs can always cause players to um to potentially overreact right and if you can get them in a bad spot you split up the swarm uh, that could end up being beneficial for you we'll, we'll have to find out here pretty soon it looks like we are right now waiting for just the the blue and brown M3As, the bottom ones, the ones who would end up having the possibility of chasing Django if Django goes to uh, the pilot's left, our visual right side. Uh, they would have a, a better track on them, maybe with just like a one bank. Uh, well, like I said, you got to block that four forward and three bank. There, There is potential for uh, for pink to do like a big old 5K and block mm. that. Uh, leaving route to pin Django uh, in these obstacles. We'll have to see the, the risk and um, reward calculations um, that Joe has here. Um, if I mean, if he could do some serious damage to Django, shoot, if he could kill him before he has a chance to drop those bombs, all the better. Uh, so it was a big, big round for the M3As uh, to... They could win the game uh, just with a good block right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you take down one of these fire sprays early, it can uh, it it will it'll start to snowball on you pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah Dire Weasel is betting on a hard two through the debris to try to shake off the M3 Ace. I don't know, it's a big gamble. You can't shake him. I would, it would gonna put him in good bombing position. All right, here's that five forward, uh, ready to block that exit lane. Very smart. Uh, had the bodies to sacrifice. Hit the gas. Drops the focus. Yeah, debated the lock, but was the damn coming around? Uh, maybe not a good idea. Oh, Fate of Kane says the best gamble would be a Talon roll. Actually, that wouldn't be bad at all because it that give you access to that three hard template. Yeah, like wait, a Talon roll out or in? Uh, to the left. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, we'll see how committal here. Uh, we have Brown skips over. Do a barrel roll. Okay. All right. Anticipating some possibilities of Django going in that direction. Yeah, like a two-bank boost. Mm -hmm. Just anything to trap this uh, ship in uh, this area and get as many guns on it as possible. Let's see where the next one goes. All right, just keeping that... Green one, kind of like the linebacker holding hold the back line right mm -hmm. now. Trying to make sure that uh, if Django ends up escaping to Django's right side, you got some way to pursue there. Also, honestly, has a great path going to the right between both of those rocks there as well. Zam, top of the table. Yeah, I don't think it's range. It's gonna have to boost. Mm, if you're gonna be offensive, for sure. Like, oh, Zam man. can swing games Just super springles. hard because of her bonus attack ability. Mhm. Mm you want to get want to get her in there. 
I don't think that's range for a shot. I don't know if that's even an arc. If it is range. I mean, it's so sad to be off the back foot so early, but the mm -hmm. M3 is just called Django coming in around the outside. Where are you going? I think it's off. I think it's out of arc as well. Oh, we have what? Never see this get utilized. That's a purple coordinate action, Dion. Oh, did you what? even know that that ship had it on its action bar? Papa team, Papa team, Papa team. Is this a boost? Oh, coordinate the boost. Oh would be man, this amazing. could be disgusting. Come on. Oh man, I completely forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who, who would see this coming? I, I think uh, they are staring super hard right here and asking does the let's oh, go ahead top down boost. top down view the real boost. real quick does the boost <sighs> fit right there no, guys what do you think no way there you go there's more of ah, i don't know man no Ooh. way give him the reinforce let him live <laughs> we got most people are saying no they don't think it fits we got one yes Oh. oh this this is tight all right so going going you know what i'm gonna i want to save this game stay here real quick actually save oh, for, for the boost save, bank yeah. boost. no way the bank boost zero chance yeah for for a little little gsp uh He's gsp game reinforcing the back i assume he just didn't flip the token yeah no, he tried, because uh, why would you reinforce back if you're going to arc dodge everything? Uh, but he tried the four straight. Interesting. Two missed the front. Yeah, they, they, they flipped it back to the front. <laughs> I would hope so. Okay. Uh, Django, reinforced, um, but stressed. Uh, this could be... That could have been the clutch play here. A coordinate from Chancellor Palpatine. Wow. Well, let's see. You're gonna end up. Be, you're gonna be able to use that coordinate. Excuse me. The coordinate to reinforce five times, but that is five shots coming in. Yep. Pick a target carefully here. And you gotta have. I think you have to go with the auto blaster with the focus. No prioritizing damage here. Going into yellow without a token. Mm-hmm. Four dice. Four on three. Trying to ace it. Hit crit. Decisions. Decisions. You got the reinforce. Spin the four. Spin the force. Come on. Oh, he's reaching for it. He's re yes. Yeah. Hit hit crit. Choosing violence here. Where are they going? And you're going to end up squeaking one through. That is a shield down on the yellow M3A interceptor. Oops. All right, Sam. I don't, let's see what that arc check. I think it was way out. No. Yeah. So the arc was on, but did not have the distance. I do not have the distance. <laughs> uh, a lot of people talk about the, the force using crew, but I think this is actually an appropriate way to do it. Uh, Dooku and Palpatine uh, as they are. Mm -hmm. Now, the, man, the M3As have to make a decision in what order they want to start shooting. Looks like we're going to go pink first. This is pink with the... Uh, primary here, no tracer. Yep, range one. No mods. Had to barrel roll. All right, good start for Django. I mean, we're we're biased, but you know, uh, you know me. I'm always rooting for the underdog. <laughs> I like a good match. That's right. And this is another range one shot coming in. Oh. Okay. 
Has to spend the focus for two. Django taking at least one. One because of the reinforce. Well, in spite of the reinforce is the, actually the correct thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I have uh, I have a personal did the reinforce matter counter going so far has not. I might against this four dice auto blaster though. Oh no, uh, he's using treacherous. Oh, to, block to cancel that hit. out the other the other hit. Yeah. Yes, I was wondering. I was like, he hadn't reached for the other shield yet, and I was wondering what was happening. No, he's there... straining, uh, Sunny Bounder. Di the disrespect here on Sonny Bounder, Treacherous in them. That's right. Treacherous, if you're not familiar with that card, allowing you to cancel out a damage for the cost of a strain on a ship that is uh, obstructing, including enemies. Hit crit, spend the focus for two, and reinforce adds an evade. And takes the last shield. It is range three, which is why we got that other roll. And shields are down on Django after that. There you go. Rainforest saved Django a crit. Counter. Did it matter? Right. A That's little. Probably yes. Probably worth it, actually. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> to block a crit. That's pretty good. Well, we got another shot coming in. Range one. Here we go. And there are two out there. Django needs natties to avoid both. And not quite. Going to end up taking the first damage card on Django. Down to six hole after that. Needs one more for half. Mm, it looks like he's taking 33 cards. 33 damage. Oh, no. That was a joke. He grabbed the yeah, whole deck. Yeah, he grabbed the whole deck. <laughs> Uh, this was the auto blaster from okay. Sunny. He on primary. Two hits. Mm, okay. And takes another one. So he's down to five now. We'll wait for them to figure yeah, out. Crazy. Sunny auto blaster in the bullseye. There it is. He rolled. He rolled the fourth one. It was an eyeball. Sonny's gonna spend that focus. Make it. Make, make it, three. it three. And the one evade plus reinforce means one more damage. The reinforce did save Django both a crit and a damage, but could not save him from being halved. There we go. Down to should be down to five, I believe, right? Correct. Six plus hall minus two. Got it. I did it. I did it right. You did it right. Hall upgrade. That's right. I, I'm no longer <laughs> hole upgrade, no longer super effective against Dio Morales. All righty. All right. Built up an immunity to that's, it. That's that's right. All right. So Django still on the board. Mm hmm He's hurting, but he's uh, he's safe for now. Uh, he is stressed and ah, man, I think you still do. I think you still have to three bank out of there. I don't right? think you have a choice. Like, he does not have a choice. Uh, maybe white could pursue that. Uh, that's Sunday bounder with like a hard one. Green's going to be coming for you with either a hard two or something, but you can shake off one shot. You're okay. Mm hmm. Agreed. Yeah. The rest of those M3As will have a nice beeline onto Zam. The question is whether or not she's going to continue into the corner, take that 45 in between both of those uh, debris or hard turn and end up going in that gap that, uh, that Magnuson right now is pointing out to all of us very nicely. <laughs> Whether yeah. she one hard and boosts through just, there. Just looking at that lane for a bit. Uh, I think that's a trap because I think uh, a lot of these M3As, instead of K turning onto the bombs, they're just going to hard one. I'm looking at like the back row there, brown, yellow, and blue. Mm -hmm. um, if you get Sunny out of the way, I don't know how you do that. But uh, they could just all turn in towards Zam. And we'll just do the, thing, the whole thing all over again. 
Gotta line up the tracers, get some torps out. Uh, who's this pink? What's pink carrying up in front there? The tracer. Tracer. Ooh. Okay. In this matchup, the tracers haven't uh, haven't done anything. First one ended up missing, missing, and primaries were just better off the other one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm waiting to see those ion torps. I was so sad uh, that we missed out on them in that opening engagement. It didn't seem to matter. Um, but it would have shut down the reinforce, wouldn't it? Mm. Mm-hmm. It uh, couldn't have been coordinated a reinforce while ionized. Interesting. Sam, where are you going, girl? So Django, you, you mentioned the bomb. So Django probably dropping at least one this turn i mean you you have to try because some n3s are probably going to end up going behind you right i mean i'm dropping both of them i'm at four hole like ah, yeah you, you're right drop them while you can yeah as long as you're not hitting zam yeah let them run oof but all all of this though half half almost um or at least half of Django. so i should phrase that for one shield off of yellow Oh, people were got at. the uh the whole uh you said that this was win uh a must win, win for yep. Iceland in the series correct yes must win um and for Peru it's win and in to the victory <laughs> yes <laughs> they'll, they'll they'll clinch the series uh if they win this one all right we got bombs dropping So we got one for sure. We're going to get the both. We think so. We at least think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Joe was doing these weird things with fuses. I don't understand. But I'm I'm intrigued by his board, his board that he's <laughs> what building over there. What do the fuses there. mean? What do they mean? He's putting them red, white, and blue. I like that. USA all day. <laughs> um, I don't know the Peruvian flag. I thought it was red and orange or red and yellow, but I might be mistaken. Uh, we got a lot of bumps here. This is the whole back row bump, bump. That's uh. Red trying to bump as well. Or trying to maneuver, rather. Uh, somebody was asking, are we going to have any more games, another XCC game after this one? Unfortunately, the next upcoming available game uh, to stream would end up being at, what would that be, our time? That would be at 11 p.m., Central time, and I can't, I can't commit to that. We got a there is a New Zealand versus Lithuania, and uh, there's yeah New Zealand versus Lithuania. That's the that's the match that's up for grabs right now for our fellow streamers. But uh, let's let's stay focused here. We had Sunny Bounder not complete the maneuver. We're just stacking yep. up on top of yep. Django. Get on the pile. Yep, not not going to let Django leave. I think that yellow is even blocking the hard two out. And that is one of the reasons to not drop all of the uh, thermals is that I uh, may end up getting them yourself here. Um, if Django four forwards, I think he is on that rock. Has Dooku, though, they could just blank it. Yeah. Um, that that's a, that's a safer a... place than where you are right now. <laughs> yeah, that, that might be the play. That's not the best play I've ever seen, but that might actually have been the play. So there's a ping for a target lock onto Sunny Bounder in the middle of that scrum. Where that's are you it. going? And that Great. is the yeah. play. Are we getting? Are we gonna get yeah, the, do it. Don't, the Dooku? Don't mess around. Don't mess around. You're not in literally any arcs. No, 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 no. Dude, don't, 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 don't roll that die. Don't. I guess you know what? Technically, the effect happens after the roll. Oh yeah. 
But you gotta spend the force charge first. Oh wow, he no! He didn't Dooku it. Crazy. Uh, okay. He must be saving it for the M3A's de defense here. Oh, the that bounce doesn't hit anybody. Doesn't hit anybody. Only nubs. Good call there. Good call on the M3A's. No one. The limitations of that. I know that was a bold call. He, if he doesn't use J Django, or excuse me, if he doesn't use Dooku this yeah. round, I'll be very upset. I will uh, say, as a note though, uh, Django does not clip it with his template leaving that rock, so he will be able to take an action afterwards. Only one shot. hit, only one, Sunny took unobstructed. The... You mean you took the lock? Just... Now, Sunny, Sunny is obstructed. I'm not sure why he didn't shoot yellow here. That was unobstructed and... Enough of AIDS. Didn't matter. Got two of AIDS anyways. Would not have, would not have hit yellow uh, or any of those guys. And the M3As are up. I think it's just red. Red with a primary, maybe Sonny. Oh yeah, Sonny, because he just got shot up. That makes sense. So you have a few of them without any shots. Sonny Bounder, the red M3A will both have shots. Maybe you no know, green was out of arc, was out of range. I just figured it out, Dion. <laughs> I'll tell you in a bit here, but I figured it out. Uh, I'm so smart. Okay. Uh, let's go to Range. the the Ion Torps primary here. Range three. One hit. Yeah, range three obstructed. Should be okay. Just looking for one. Got it. Uh, this is going to be a Zam trigger. Ah, yes. What do we get? You should thank you me. You should thank me. Sets up another target lock out there, so a free action and recharges one of her charges, so she should be up to three. And there we go. We did see both of the triggers happen there. Yep. So he's going to finish this off with the range three obstructed. Now, Zam would have uh, the option this to... Better be, this better be Dooku'd, by the way. The defensive... Or this this offense. If it's not Dooku'd, I'm going to freak out, Dion. Call, call the blank. <laughs> Hit crit. Uh, no, sorry. That was just the placement of the dice. And even if he had Django'd, it wouldn't have mattered. Safe. Safe. But no, we did not right. see Dooku trigger. That oh, means. Oh, man, I'm so upset about that. Come on. Dooku, get your head in the game. Uh, I, I've, I've learned to just look at it as uh, every single dice roll is Dooku, Dooku a bull. If that's a word. I just made it one. But. I was too. Um, that's, that's how I've had to think about it. Every bomb, every uh, asteroid. Um, every offensive or defensive role, everything so uh, valuable to consider um, Dooku-ing. Yes, the missed trigger there was quite unfortunate. Yeah, I'm very surprised by not doing it on, on the rock even. I mean, I know 50-50 chance, but... Yeah, I mean, no. there's... There are... Uh... I mean, I mean who knows? Maybe. Game, so, and there could be, there could also be a misunderstanding of the car. Like you don't know. We we don't we don't know the, the, no. the player's mind because the obstacle and bomb manipulation is definitely that like second level of like you you think of dice, you think of sure. you know when rolling dice you're like oh attacking and attacking defending, and defense. right? Yeah. And you need to go that extra level. Like no, seriously, it's like any dice. You pick up a dice, you can Dooku that. <laughs> Your opponent picks up a dice. You could do that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, it's just things you got to consider. Um, those resources, which just two ships. Every resource is so valuable. 
Um, you see that he has put out those treacherous charges as well. Another thing that easily gets lost in the shuffle um, is uh, your treacherous triggers. So having it by a ship is able to uh, let him know. But Dion, I figured it out, by the way. Kit me. Of what these colored fuses are. I know I don't think our viewers can see them, but I could see them. So how uh, Joe is, uh, how he's been showing um, that a ship has moved or a ship has shot is by flipping his dials in a very specific way. Mm -hmm. But it's not allowing Django to see the color of the maneuver dealt. So he's made himself uh, white, red, and blue tokens uh, to assign to ships so that we know the color of their maneuver. Uh, Django has an ability. Let's all read it together so we all can remember. <laughs> Story time uh, with Will. <laughs> uh, while you defend or perform a primary attack, if the difficulty of your revealed maneuver is less than that of the enemy ships, you may change one of the enemy ship's eyeball results to a blank result. Uh, so very good against Jedi, anything that... Uh, takes a focus instead of a target lock normally. Super, super good. Um, very, very polite of Joe uh, to help his opponent remember those triggers and uh, just display them visually. We got 29 minutes left in this round. Now, after this game is done, we'll be we'll be done with our transmission. What would that be? About 8:30 p.m. Central. We'll figure out, you know, if if we can find a, find a game to stream, we'll do that. If you guys are tired for the night, maybe we just call it. But uh, you know, we're willing to hang out with you guys if you like. I know I I kind of want to get a game in. Like I, I have the itch to play, but I don't know what I would play. That's that's really the question there, Will. <laughs> Yeah. Well, do you do you want to practice game against your uh, your 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 opponent? Uh, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to stream a practice game. Ah. Uh, uh, oh. Well, we that, could just. We not could just. That I'm uh, um, against it. Or not not that I'm against playing a game with you, um, but this is a harder matchup for me. So I'll try to keep my little secrets to myself. Ah. Uh, we we could just make the, sh the stream super upset. We call the transmission, say that we're not gonna play, and then we play anyway. Well, we could. What we could do, Dion, is uh, you could play my list and I could play my opponents. Ooh, you know. And I'm not. I'm not saying that just because I want to get a win. In. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it would be interesting uh, to see how somebody else flies my list as well. So yeah, get a look from the other side. Let me know if uh, chat if you would like to see um, me get dumpstered by Will. After this game, let us know. And here we go. M3As are on the move. We got a 5K from the red M3A. We got more 5Ks. Flipty dipped. We got my, sorry, I'm, I'm laughing at the chat. They're like, oh, we're totally in to watch Dion get dumpstered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Love you guys. All right. And we're K, we're K turning through the rock, Will. I see that. He's saying, I got ships. I could take some damage. There you go. Uh, that rock has done just as much damage as Django and Zam have. That was a shield on blue. Can I do the double drop? Did my other bomb not load in? Oh, no, it's there. It's just kind of like halfway underground. Uh, Here's yes. another one. That rock is angry. MVP, the dolphin. <laughs> dolphin taking two shields. And a five straight here. I'm telling you, Alberto likes to go fast. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You Alberto. Five straights not to use them. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Mm -hmm. so I'm pretty casual here. 
three bank. Got out of that is the auto blaster, so it's able to get out of the bullseye for it. Um, Does the he? Best call here. I don't think he has arc currently on the green one. Mm, oh, but this yeah, feels so bad. Like on, his arc is on Zam. You could just focus up. Or excuse me, his arc is on Sam. His arc is on Sunny, who has Zam's lock. That's, yeah, that's you can just focus up. Take your shot, man. He's probably he he's, he's 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 tempted to boost. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I mean, he's not wrong for doing so. Might his still have a range three. on the other. Uh, his bomb drops on his other position didn't look that great either. Django. So this is the positions I'm talking about. The M3 has had to bet on Django going left. Um, if he would have just banked, you know that he is going to turn in and follow Zam. All right. All right. Get a little bit of focus fire here. Sam had just three and six in range. Six is a tracer looking the other way. So Zam, or Django should be clear. And he could even turn one of the eyeballs to a blank. We even have a bomb here. Oh no, green, oh. you're in trouble. That's right. You can't, you're out of range to Dooku here. Oh, they we never moved a uh, bumpy bump. Pink. No big deal. Roll him. Takes a sh hit. That's a damage. That's another shield out there. Shout out to Alberto using the GSP helmet tokens. Yeah, super cool. We'll have we'll have metal ones actually for sale. Our extras from Patreon here in a couple weeks to the open public. Uh, I'm going through the different tiers of Patreon right now and offering them. Uh, I need to do the next the next level actually the next couple days. And we got a range three shot out the backside. Django trying to do some work here. Two yep, hits, yep. has a lock. Yep, lock and force available and his ability. Three hits. Can you clear a ship off the board this turn? This would be absolutely massive. Well, you force mm. the, the focus expenditure. Maybe yep. Zam can clean it up. Oh, Isofane, I hope he's okay. That's a fan. You can't blame yourself when your kids get hurt, man. <laughs> you can't do that. There's, they're supposed to be indestructible. How do you get hurt? I always heard kids were indestructible. Now, apparently, not they're getting the forehead stitches. Eight stitches, Isofane. Oh. Oof. All right, taking the opportunity shot here into green. We're going the lock. And hit That's crit. It. Can we get him off the board? Hit crit does go through there for the green M3A. Hit crit. What is in the box? Flip the card. Let us know. It's a whole breach. Irrelevant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's edge found bone for irrelevant crit. Yep. And for any newer players, I hope you know when we talk, when we say that a crit is irrelevant, uh, when you have something like whole mm -hmm. breach or fuel leak, mm -hmm. any things that do like worse or additional damage on your la like, and you only have one hole left, it doesn't it doesn't buy you any advantage in the game. At most, you're maybe like milling the deck, but again, that's not a mechanic that really matters in X Wing. So um, it doesn't doesn't buy you any advantage this turn. Okay. And we are back to dials. Yeah, Django... Made it out of the 
of the uh, first engagement alive here. Uh, the M3As can really slow roll um, to avoid more bombs. Uh, you can see like white and red here could come up and just basically block a bunch of one banks mm -hmm. from like blue, uh, all the all the stressed ones uh, who hit the dolphin. Um, now, Green is still by, out by himself, but we'll see. What do you think, Indiom? Yeah, I mean, I, the positioning right now for, for Magnuson is actually quite good. He's mm -hmm. in a perfect mm -hmm. spot. He can be chased in either direction. Bombs are likely to hit next turn uh, if you use the, the two straight ones. And Alberto is either going if, – if Alberto stays aggressive, he's eating bombs and hitting the rocks again. Um, I think green goes down next turn, by the way, because it's kind of by itself. The fastest move, of course, you could do is a five straight. Alberto has shown us he likes to hit the gas, so mm -hmm. might do that. But I'm, I, I actually really like Magnus's position right now. Has some potential to make up some points in the next couple turns. What's he need? Two full uh, M3As? It doesn't matter which ones they are. He just needs two yep. full ones. Just, just eat them up. I mean, a lot of these ships are at uh, all, close to half. He's been knocking shields off with bombs. Uh, Dolphin's been out there MVP in, doing some work, taking some shields down. <laughs> so uh, the the points are ripe for the taking. It's just can he keep uh, that four hole Django alive? I think with 20 minutes left, unless Zam gets foolish, uh, should have no problem uh, keeping uh, her half of the points. I agree. Yeah. It's going to come down to Django. How how much can mm -hmm. Django help in this effort while not taking damage? And that's that mm -hmm. is the question, the million dollar question right now. I mean, that here's your bet, Dion. What's left or right for Django? What is he? Which if you're the M3A, which way are you calling? I think Django needs to go to the left to bring the action towards Zam. Like you, you kind of left. Yeah, uh, yeah. Saying? Pilot ship, left. Ship left. Ship left. Mm -hmm. Visual right. Uh, at the moment, I think you bring bring them left, just so you can bring them together and see. You got to make sure that Zam is shooting every turn. That was one of the problems in this opening here is that you had Django trying to solo all this list, but the strength of these fire sprays is causing confusion, target confusion between the two, and mm -hmm. um, and making sure you have shots with both of them each turn. Yeah, we, speaking of uh, Zam shooting, we do have all those Zam charges uh, uh, charged up. Uh, so we could see multiple rounds of bonus attacks coming in from Zam, depending on that condition. That's right. Let's go, Zam. Try, time to pull the ripcord. Pew, 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 baby. Mm, some well-calculated target locks here. And so the fire spirits will definitely be moving out of range. I mean, just lock Django. Yeah, give, give him a little spook tactic. Even if you never use it, at least mm -hmm. let him know. If he wants to rumble, he can. And Alberto is, is, is taking the insurance saying, you know what? I don't think I'm going to have shots next turn. Let's take an action that can get me something later. Again, for our newer players out there, remember, target lock is consistent. It stays around until you spend it. If you focus and you have no, no shots this turn, you're out of range. You've essentially wasted a potential action that turn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, target locks on more and more ships these days, and uh, it's it's valuable. You your chassis pays points for that target lock action. Yep, and you know that yeah. you know that because there are ships without it, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, so yeah, this this is fact. And there you go. This is gonna keep stacking them up. Yep, get as many as you can here. We got 200 beautiful people watching from around the world. Thank you for watching the XTC on GSP. I want to remind you that our broadcast today brought to you by Kuwat Print Yards. Use that coupon code GSP for 15% off. You can use that today, tomorrow, all the way through 2021. So at any time you want some of that sweet Kuwat 
3D printed dial covers or tokens, you can go to kuatprintyards.com, exclamation point kuat in the chat. So these M3As stacked up. They said, you know what? Let's, uh, let's huddle up, wait for these bombs to go off and not take any damage and i really i like the strategy not many players are willing to do so many tactical bumps in mm -hmm. order to avoid potential damage some people don't see that uh that next step in the 3d chess yeah exactly and these are really tight lanes that these m3a's are trying to fly through so i uh, got to kind of uh finagle your way around to get it to work um, Zam might not have range. Might so, not, and we're ooh. This is this is a little aggressive for my taste, but I like yeah. it still. The Talon roll. You might have the one bank and boost to the left behind the rock for Django. Maybe down, down on points. Um, so this is a uh, this is what, like like I was saying earlier with the Zam. Uh, you need you always need to have both options available, and Zam's. Uh, the next round might not even be able to cut in to help Django here uh, with this joust, but the fire sprays are gonna have to figure out something quick. Um, with seven ships on the board, uh, pace of play is putting them at six minutes per round. Now it's mm -hmm. without shooting, so they're uh, looking at two rounds left. Yeah, and with, without having shots this turn and next turn, it's going to be really tough for Magnuson to, to catch it. Because like you said, he needs to take two fire, full, two fools fire sprays, two, excuse me, M3As off the board. And mm -hmm. at most, I mean, that's the best you can do with perfect dice. You need perfect all hits, all blanks on the right. other side. And yeah, uh, and not be green. shooting any of the ones that you have halved or the one green one you have halved. Yeah, green. I don't think is gonna come back into this fight. Uh, <laughs> I think he's gonna take a real casual hard one around that debris and just hang out, <laughs> conserve his points for his best uh, to his ability. Now uh, we still have uh, yellow and blue. Who are down shields, and they are more or less in the front right now, uh, this round. Uh, so those got to be the prime targets. Uh, Zam still has his lock, uh, their lock on Sunny out there from the last um, Zam card. Yep, still has that. I mean, you, you put, you better mean business now on Zam, and you try to get a shot, but your best bet is what, a one forward to get actually get a shot? With or ta what, talent roll? Yeah, it's talent roll. Uh, maybe hard one boost? Mm, I, I, don't don't I don't believe. Enough, I, don't, I don't fly enough medium bases to know the difference of a hard one boost and a talent roll. Wait, what, what you actually... Where you actually land, excuse me. I'm hoping uh, uh, they do, though. Because uh, they need... Uh, so we're, we're saying at least two shots, if not three. Right? So right. you gotta get two rounds of shooting. And time is ticking. I mean, nothing against Joe, as we were saying last uh, last time with Octo, that uh, this is standard. He, he set the pace early. He's not um, you know, uh, needing to go extremely fast. He's uh, making sure that each one of these maneuvers is correct. And and one of the, one of the things as well with these worldwide tournaments, uh, and when you're just kind of randomly scheduling a game, uh, mm -hmm. the the time zone can be a little bit different, right? Like this, um, it's not like so. For instance, in, in the our our galaxies uh, tournaments, you know what the time zone is going to be like weeks before, so you can kind of mentally prepare for that. But these XTC games, it could be at a different time every single week right mm -hmm. so right now in mm -hmm. iceland it is 1 30 a.m over there 
So, you know, Fun Walk actually had mentioned it in the chat. He said, you know, some of the, the mental strain for Magnuson could be real right now if they're, they're not a uh, night owl necessarily. You know, just the, the small little mistakes, those small processing errors that happen in our minds as we start getting tired um, could definitely have played a factor in this game. The small things, you know, if you don't realize that maybe you should have gone a different direction, you didn't think of a certain set of maneuvers or action combinations, and you got to think about the number of decisions you have to make. An X-Wing are ridiculous. I'm actually, um, right now, Will, I'm working on an infographic to show a single turn with a, bu with a <laughs> bunch like, of, what, decision trees of, all, of all the decision trees that that uh, that exist. And I was like, oh, I could I can knock this out in a day. And then I started doing it, and I was like, nope, nope, not going to not gonna happen. Like, they, oh, there's a ton. Uh, there's so many decisions. Yeah, especially, like, the ship, depending on what ships are flying, you could have a lot. Yep. Oh, look at pink there. Sneak on, uh, sneak on in uh, the formation again. A beautiful convergence here by Joe. Excellent swarm flying. And yeah, we got the down roll. That might be in range of Sunny. That could be the boon um, the Separatists need. Boosting forward. All right, let's let's see what these fire sprays can do. They 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 are facing off, looking into the teeth. Shout out to to Alberto here though. He has been flying masterfully with these M3As purposefully bunching them up together, getting them in in and out between obstacles. Props to him. Yeah, we're going to have to make a uh, interesting choice here for a lock. Pink is your best opportunity to actually do damage. But Zam has a target lock out on white as well. Yeah, they're trying to focus fire. Sunny. Mm -hmm. You need... But it doesn't... Killing a ship would be nice. But then again. And it's range two. Yep. Uh, which uh, Sonny had done. He did not put out his colors this round. Sonny had done a three bank, which is white. So that triggers Django's ability, doesn't it? Yes. Let me see a reroll here. Or are you just going to force it? Just force uses the force. Taking the guarantee. Yep, so you can drop that to a blank. No. Nope. Oh. That's a Django ability. Missed Django come trigger on, there. Come on, Django, you have an ability. Yeah. Joden uh let him know. Well, I, it's not really letting him know, but it is, um, it is a May ability, if I'm not mistaken. So, Yeah, it's all May. That's unfortunate. Yeah, would, would have gotten a crit in there. That that uh, just the, the, little, the little things that give you chances to win sometimes do stack up. Here's a range three shot. Zam going into Sunny Bounder. Sunny's lost a shield. What else can you get? You got a hit. You got a crit. There's a lock out there. Yeah, they spent both long. Or they, uh, Django didn't spend this uh, long. He, he, he spent grabbed the, the wrong one, yep. There's the reroll. And got a crit. Hit, crit, crit. Looking for some luck here. Trying to take a ship off the board. One crit gets through. That is a wounded pilot on the Sunny Bounder. All right, there's the set of points you needed. And, and on the most expensive M3A as well. Um, but what will it cost? Everything. 
Uh, it might be. <laughs> it might be. Yep, because at this point now, Alberto's leading by 21, so Magnuson needs a full M3A to lead. Django did already use the force, so that's not available as a defensive mod. This is an ion torpedo. Only I one hit. Love it. It takes away the bonus uh bonus die, the range bonus. Hit it crit. Hey, that's gonna be a damage. One damage, one ion. There is another ion torpedo out there, so could end up attempting to ion if the red one has range as well. Uh, that's just an ionized Django. Oh, it was a blank focus. Sorry, I thought I saw a squiggle I up hit, there. He, he, hadn't, he hadn't rolled it yet. They were double checking a couple things. Ah, well, with no evades there, that is a damage and two ion tokens. Medium bases require two ion tokens in order to be ionized. Interesting. Oof, that's rough for the old Django. Uh, who's got the other torp? Red? Red, yep. Uh, red doesn't have a lock, though. I just fire that primary. Oh, I can see. But I would fire it as well just because it's four dice and you're just trying to get through one yeah. damage. Like, you'll take one, blue. one all day. I think they're going to go all in here. Yep, just kill them now. Don't wait till next round. Uh, lock and focus for two. Got two. All right, that was the start for Django. Django's fighting. Oh, he's digging him. He's excited about those. Uh, how much? Oh, we got left on just three. Just three. Just three. Ooh. Will Brown's that out. Mandalorian armor hold up? All right, here's the. Oh, Red does have a range three shot from downtown, yeah. just barely. Yeah, no locks, no mods, no nothing like that. So, two on three. Oh, gets That's the natty, hits. So. Rolling oh, no. Another one going through. Down to two. I mean, he's just got to survive this round. Hopefully, Zam put in the right card to double shoot old Sunny Bounder out there. So it would it would be you should thank me, or if Sunny attacks, uh, which we she won't. <laughs> I mean, she'll attack like, Django. Be, yeah. Be, one uh, hit, looking at Django. That goes through, down to one. All right, we got one last shot. One last shot, Sunny. Sunny Bunny, what you got? Oh, yeah, the whole upgrade. Not dead yet. All right, uh, so no at, mods. This, at this point at the end, would need Zam to have, you should thank me in order to perform a bonus attack. One hit from Sunny. Go Django, on. no. Django eats it. That right there. Right there, the opportunity to win the game slips through Magnus's finger because there is no way to earn 70 points in two minutes in this matchup. Mm -mm. Uh, Zam card? Zam card? Come on, do the double shot. Yep, this this was Ooh. definitely a tough one for Magnuson. Uh, looks like Peru is going to clinch their second round here only a couple days in they got their games in real early and got their wins in early as well four to zero uh, up against iceland with three games left to go i mean at that point they're they're essentially scrimmage games right you're, you're putting in for practice more well, than anything not necessarily um the biggest tiebreaker uh, four teams, especially that number two spot in each okay. of the groups, is the number of wins you have. Oh, it is total. The, okay. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, and I think it. There's another. I think it's like head to head. Uh, might be one of them, and then MOV. Um, 
and then it kind of trails off, you know. Yeah. Uh, just, uh, each one from there, but uh, it is not MLB. It is a uh, number of wins uh, that determines the the biggest tiebreaker. So it, it does matter. Uh, each each time a team does go uh, seven to zero, um, it uh, prevents his opponent from getting into that elusive second spot. Uh, remember, each of the top two teams out of each group will move on to the ten team round robin. Uh, this culminates uh, over two days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you could um, you could have a team, but if you only get you know if you barely win like four to three each one of your rounds. Yep. Uh, there's uh, if you are in that competition for the second place it won't be enough so blow blowouts do matter so it so there, there you go that's what i was about to ask it is better to win harder yes yes okay. every game it, it's every yeah, game matters it's done that way too yeah every game should and does matter all right well We'll see if Iceland can pick up any other games throughout this. There's three more matchups left to go. So that does mean Team USA last week put put we put ourselves in uh I'm doing that thing. I'm not really part of the team, but I am the team. Um, we <laughs> uh, you we, are you are we the USA. Yeah. We do represent all of USA. So yeah, we USA. <laughs> Come on. Well, I as the Team USA uh, graphic designer, how about that? Um, there you go. We, <laughs> we, uh, we're in good position, at least coming out of that first round, having won 6-1 there. Like, that's, one, that's that is, super that solid. Is good, that is a good spot. That is a good spot. Uh, Sweden's on their back foot. Um, but we got a lot of – there's a lot of – A lot of good teams to play. I was going to say hungry teams, but ah! there's, only one, there's only one hungry team in our group. Uh, everybody else, I guess, is just earning or yearning for those wins. That's right. All right. We can see the M3As here committed. Green never came back to the fight. We uh, got had one health, and he said, thank you. See you later. Time in the round, by the way. If you didn't notice it, Zam, just try to hold on to points at this point, right? Like that's – you, you boost away, shoot at the I, back? I don't know. You could trade your shields for vengeance, killing one of these M3As, I guess. It's never the spot you want to be in. It's basically the, the situation. Yeah, I'm just going to try to kill Sonny here. There you go. Get some points. Try to take yeah, something no, off I, the board. He, he kept the stress. I see that now. I thought he just flung banked, but he three banked. That's the right maneuver. Wounded pilot uh, check there for Sunny Bonder. Yep. And here we go. It was not range one, just barely range two. Two hits. You need a blank out here from Sunny. Mm-hmm. And blank, yeah, like l actual blanks. Cause you got to focus out there. Not gonna happen. No, oh, let's bend it. Wrap this game up. Oh, uh, let's see. There's going to be a lot of bullseye shots into Zam. Uh, we'll see if... I, uh, it, do it? I mean, you might as well try to do it. It's 50, almost 50 MOV sitting over there. You can snatch up real fast. Yep. Six, we... six damage will do it. We have a Tracer missile. I like that. Heads up play. Alberto not letting up. Hit it crit. Guaranteed to hit on the Tracer. This is all about the locks at this point. And, and throws the natties, but again, not enough not dice enough. out there to stop it. Not enough. And all of them will, everyone except Green will be scooping up a target lock on Zam. Green, why yeah, is your targeting computer off? <laughs> uh, yeah, and, uh, I'll, I'll tell you, Dion. There is a clear sign of uh, the ability to um, understand this double fire spray list. Uh, Zam has yet to use any charges this entire game. Gained yep. two of them, but never used any for double attacks. 
and that's really where Zamp shines. So, mm -hmm. very very smart of Joe to capitalize on target priority there. One crit on the first shot. That was a range one. Spend the target lock. Didn't get anything out of that, but a focus changes it to two. It takes one. All right, four left. Two, four left to half. Four left to half, yes. That's, that's what I'm counting. Four left to points. Yep. Or no, I, five left to points. These ships got hull upgrade. Deal. Hull upgrade, got them. Got them. <laughs> got, got myself. What can you do? <laughs> We got a range two in the bullseye shot. This is Ion Torp. Probably just goes with the Ion Torpedo because you get four dice. Four dice. That's four, it. Four chances to do two damage. I mean, uh, to do one damage. Yep. I'm in. They did reveal the Zam card, by the way. It was you better mean business. And you don't get anything at this point because her arc is pointed the wrong way. Yeah, and Sunny might not even have arc. We'll see. There's an iron going down, though. There's an uh, auto blaster range two. Two hits. Zam's lost two shields so far. Here's the roll. And gonna lose at least one more. It has a force available. Oh, treacherous. treacherous. Yep, hasn't been used yet. Blocks that extra hit. And you're going to spend and it uses to the take force no on the, damage. Uh, yep, there you go. All right. That might seal the deal for Zam's half points here. Takes another one. Down to one shield. I'm not sure who's left for a shoot here. Pink, the range two. Mm. Sunny, nope. no nothing. arc. That that was the chance to potentially get a bonus attack. I think that's it. I think that's all the M3As. I'm waiting in suspense to see if there's more. G uh, that is not. That's a GG. G well, you know what? Congratulations, Alberto. Locking up, clenching the victory for Peru right here on GSP. Cue the party because <laughs> Peru is getting Peru. that W in round two. Iceland, Team Iceland, sad face. Let's get some Fs in the chat for Iceland because um, while one team does rise, another must fall at the same time. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan. Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, and Row 6, our Grand Admiral patrons, and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold Squadron out.